Hello everyone. In this example, I'm going to show you how to use the EUI64 notation when representing an IPv6 address. As you notice here, IPv6 address is quite long, so sometimes it gets it gives problem to represent the network, uh, the interface ID. Now, remember we talked about IPv6 address. IPv6 address, just as a reminder, is 128 bit long, uh, in contrast with the IPv with IPv4 address, which is only 32 bit. And IPv6 address is divided into two parts. You have the part which represents the prefix, which is the equivalent of network address in the IPv4. And the second part is interface ID, which is the uh, equivalent of host ID in network in IPv6 address. Now, uh, we can do one thing. We can give, we can provide a, a, a prefix for a specific IPv6 address. We can provide a prefix. Now, instead of of going into the hassle of providing interface ID, what we can do, we simply rely on EUI64 notation in order to generate the interface ID. Once interface ID is generated, it will be appended to prefix to come up with the IPv6 address to be assigned to host. Now we're going to see how this EUI64 notation is, uh, is used or is achieved. It's a very simple, but uh, the first thing here is to, we have to, to mention two things. The first thing is that EUI64 notation is valid only if the length of the prefix is 64. You see in this example here, I'm specifying only the prefix. There is no interface ID. So, of course, the prefix alone is not a valid IPv6 address to be assigned to a host. So, I'm just specifying the prefix. Now, is it possible to have prefix length more than different than 64? Yes, it is possible. That's why here we are mentioning that EUI64 notation is valid only if the length of the prefix is 64. This is one thing. The second thing, it's used in on LAN interface. LAN interface, why? Because it relies on MAC address. MAC address is an address available on a, on a LAN interface, like a fast Ethernet interface, a gigabit interface. So, so it is used on this kind of interfaces. But just remember that the, pref the length of the prefix should be equal to 64. Now, if we go to router zero, router zero, if you see this router zero here, uh, well, I type this comment, show IPv6 interface brief, and it display the link local IPv6 address and the global IPv6 address, right? Now, look at the link local IPv6 address. It always starts with this prefix, FE80. But how did the router specify the interface ID? Four groups. Here we have four groups. Each, each group is made of two bytes. Four times two is equal eight bytes. So eight bytes are necessary to represent the uh, interface ID in, in the IPv6 addressing scheme. Now, you see here we have we have these values from where they have been uh, generated, how they were generated. I mean, how the interface ID were, was generated, appended to FE80 to come up with the linked local IPv6 address. So we're going to see this. It's quite interesting because we are using the EUI64 here. Uh, let me just show you how this is done. First, go to, you type this comment, show interface first Ethernet 00. Why we do this? Because we want to see, we want to get the MAC address of the interface. This is the MAC address of the first Ethernet 00. And as long as this is the MAC address, so we're going to write it down here. So I come here, all right? And then I'm going to write down this interface, 00E0, right? This is 00E0. But I come back again, F7 for C. F7 for C. Dot, again, 9401. 9401. All right. So this is the MAC address of the interface of, uh, of the router, interface fast Ethernet 00 of the router, 00E0. F74C 9401. That's good. Now we're going to do something in order to build the EUI64 notation using the, the IPv6 address using the EUI64 notation. I will do the following. I'll split the MAC address into two, exactly at the middle. At the middle, okay? I put the cursor here. I split it into two. Now here what I do, I will put these values. F F F E, always like that. You should ins insert F F F E in the middle of the MAC address. Then I have to reconstruct the group. We know that in IPv6 address is made of uh, uh, eight groups, and each group has two bytes. Now I have to reconstitute my groups. 
So I go back again and I bring this uh, to F7. So like this, I build my, uh, my, my group made of two bytes. And then I separate this from the others with a colon. Now FE will go with 4C. Now I have another group now, new group, which is FE and 4C. Now, the first step, I constructed two groups, two new groups, F7, FF, and FE, 4C, right? Now, we have done the first part. Now, the second part, let's go to this group here, 00, zero E0, zero. Zero, zero, E0. Zero. What I do, it's made of two bytes. This is the first byte, okay? As you see, this is the first byte of the group, and this is the second byte of the group. Now, what I should do, the second bit of the first byte should be flipped. Let me just represent the first byte here. I can represent it like this with a series of zeros. Okay, so this is my first byte, all zeros. Now, I go to the second bit, which starts from the, from the right. This is the second bit. Now, this bit here, it is zero now. I'm going to flip it to one. I'll flip it to one. Now, what is the new value that I obtain now? What is new value? Zero, two. Now, the new value becomes zero, two when converted to hexadecimal instead of zero, zero as previously seen. Now, I come back here and then I change this from zero to two. All right. When I'm done, I just delete, I get rid of this. All right. Now, my, my address is ready. What is left? I just need to append fe80 which is the prefix used for link local and separate this with uh, with double colon and here i am i build my link local ipv6 address go back to router zero let's double check and see if it's okay all right i display ipv6 address this is my link local fe80 double colon 2e0 is it okay that's correct f7ff fe4c9401 so, of course, we can always simplify our uh, link local IP address by omitting leading zero. So, I'm going to omit this leading zero here. All right. I delete it. So, now I come back again and I check FE80 to E0, right? Exactly the same. F7FF, FE4C9401. So, you see, it's very important to know how to do that. It's very simple also. Uh, EUI64 notation is based on the MAC address of the uh, interface that you're using uh, to which you're going to assign the uh, IPv6 address. This is one point, one thing. Uh, the second thing, always make sure to remember that the second bit of the first byte of the uh, IPv6 address should be flipped. I mean, if it was zero, it should be flipped to one. If it was one, it, it should be flipped to zero like this you build your ipv6 successfully so you can try this as much as you want this is now the notation of the eui 64 notation which is used to build an ipv6 address so remember uh, the condition is the prefix lan should be equal to 64 and generally it's used for lan interface because the lan interface has uh, a mac address okay uh, this is hacking thank you for viewing